Hello, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to our Chatting Over Cards, how we love to spend. We love that you spend a bit of time on Monday evenings with us. I saw there was uh, Deborah on here, first time watching. You know, when we come on and we see a bunch of comments already from those of you that are on YouTube, it's just heartwarming. I said, it's just so fun. <laughs> so anyway, we totally appreciate you. We, we, we always get here early. We try. <laughs> so Karen, Karen actually has something to read, so it's 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 nice. I know. I just go on there and see because I don't, you know. But anyway, thanks, guys. Tonight is going to be a wee bit shorter than usual. Just letting you know. I just have to tell you tonight is our grandson Hank's last soccer game, and it's a ways away. So we want to, you know, try to make the last part but, of it but to show up. Don't we go to all of them? Um, and that is a little story. On Saturday was his second to last game, and we had a beautifully free day. We packed our chairs. We went there. We were there an hour late. So we caught the last like 30 seconds of the game. And, you know, we have this issue with Tim's reading. <laughs> and I said, we're still trying to adapt <laughs> to our new world where I really do need to check what he gets out of his, <laughs> out of the messages that are sent his way. She does. It, it's just hard because, you know, I mean, you guys heard our story. We were at the wrong gate when the last time we flew. That was a while ago. <laughs> I mean, it's like all the things that you have always taken care of in life, you yes. know, I mean, and I just think, I mean, it's an interesting process that a lot of us are going to go through on a lot of different levels, but it's just something we're adapting to. So all we could do is apologize to our grandson and say, we meant to be here. So that's why tonight we want to make sure. We make it. And then we could talk about the recipe that had rice in it. And I forgot, I didn't see that it was cooked rice. <laughs> So Les, Les Shaw, thank you. She's just saying that she she and her friend Joan, they came and visited us. That was just really fun. They're back home now. I said, what a fun road trip. Road trip. So yes. that's really cool. But I will say it's going to be shorter, but I'm really excited about the cards we're going to share. So you want to stay tuned. First, we have a couple of announcements. The, this is awesome. This is the new host code. Seven, United States, United Kingdom, Art. Okay, this just came through. I just saw this today. That so, mine. so we I have, just okay. made it up. Oh, okay, pretty good, Tim. You're gonna, but you're gonna love this one. So oh, I guess good. I'm sidetracked to thinking about this one from Noel Pemberton. Oh, good. Because Tim is absolutely going to love this. Seven upbeat stampers understand Karen's amazing romantic Tim. <laughs> I love that. Thank so, you. Okay, that just might be the best one ever in Tim's that class, is. but I thought that is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and I am romantic. <laughs> and, um, you know, each month, so if you purchase $50 from me, you get a card card kit, and they're always, I'm just going to quickly show, I'm going to quickly show you all of these tonight. This is just, because it's a lot of these fun, uh, and you'll notice these do not have words on them. These are just cards that you can complete without using words so you and you so you don't need anything they come fully enclosed that is my little thank you gift and then a fourth completed card so just wanted to quickly show that um and so that's where we're connected with that and then this weekend is the all good cards club of the month this is my monthly class i would love to have you join it's 15 dollars a month but this one's all about easel cards so each thing I've been doing recently, I'm just showing one little more card that we're learning the style of making. But I thought, how cool is that? That's a twisted easel. easel and it stands like that. The fun thing about class is you have all your PDFs organized forever. So we kind of cover a topic. And you get to see what everyone else is doing. So And you get access forever. So you don't even need to be on live. And then the last thing is, who's going on retreat with us? I said, it is time for a retreat. It's going to be virtual. But a retreat is a little different from a class because we kind of spend the whole... The whole time, I just settle in <laughs> online <laughs> for the weekend so we can just be chatting and working along. And it, and it consists of four separate classes basically over the weekend. And again, you have access forever. So I will put a link to that. And if you have questions, uh, let me know what your questions are because that's fun. Teresa is, that's all great. So wonderful. Rebecca is, I just love that. So let, let me know if you have questions. And I just love that some of you on here just will put in a good word to how fun they are. I, I just think it's really fun to feel like I really get to know you guys. I was gonna say we, but I thought uh, on retreat, Tim pops in and out because he's always bringing me tea and seeing what I need, but you know. But so, and so he comes in and chats. It's my day off. That. But um, <laughs> anyway, so, but it's all fun. We love it and we appreciate you guys. So that is wonderful. Okay, and then let us look 
that's what we're going to do. So I thought since we're going to short, do a short time, I've been wanting to highlight this stamp set. So I haven't shown any of these cards Are gonna yet. use this? <laughs> yeah, never know what you find around here, Tim. I know. This is really a lovely stamp set. It's on page five of the mini catalog, and it is strong of heart. Each year, Stampin' Up! does some stamp, which is where they donate part of the money. So $3 from the sale of the, each of these stamp sets goes to support heart health. And, you know, heart issues impact all of us, whether it's not ourselves, it's somebody in our lives. So I think that's really a fun thing. It is also a gorgeous stamp set. So we're going to look at some different techniques and stuff. And I was going to point this out first. So we have this lovely big stamp. And of course, these could be for all kinds of occasions. And then we have this inside thing and a little heart. And I love this through struggle comes strength. Some cool words. And then there's here for you. You amaze me stronger than you know, That's which nice. is another really nice one. And I have to say, I love like long little words like that. They just fit so many places across a card. So it, it's just pretty fun. Oh, someone was asking about retreat. Thank you. There are three different ways to attend. One is just virtually, just to come to the classes virtually. A second way, and that's for anyone in the world. A second one is to just pay to get all of the supplies. You can create along, but you can either substitute and use your own stamp sets or buy your own, you know, or if you purchase from someone else, that's a good option. And then the third is to get all of it. So um, we'll put that up. Okay. I think that that's really good for what's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you know, there's so many uses, I think, for the stamp set. So this first card is from Kathy Chapman. And here you're just going to see that lovely um, a stamp right there. And it's a thinking of you sending heartfelt sympathy, a great sympathy card. Nice. I just love that with the black and white. And I notice because I like to point out little things. Do you see how, you know, usually when you do a ribbon, you'll often get a ridge. So when you mail it, then it might cost extra. But by popping this up on dimensionals and then just doing a half knot, this is mm. going to be all level with that. It's not going to um, create extra postage. So I just love pointing that out because that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, these are some just fun different sets, went, uh, uh, Deb. I agree. So I think that's just pretty cool. And pretty colors. I like that. Okay. And let's put this one right next to it. This is from Janice Waitman. I, you know, they're just gorgeous. Now, this one shows the inside, how she has stamped the inside. They both have colored these kind of the same with blends. And that one is words. This one is the inside. And then just here for you. Mm -hmm. And then we just have the, the black and white background. Again, gorgeous. Very nice. And here's another just stunning one. This is Mary Ellen Stites. The same thing, and she put in the words here through struggle comes strength. I just mm -hmm. love how that fits in there and her little accents. What I really wanted to point out is look at how awesome this is. This is the yep. same middle stamp. Yep. But she has stamped it in white as kind of a background. And I thought that is just really uh interesting and amazing. I just love that. And then the how she's done her accents down here. I think are they just cool? And if I interpret this, this is the struggle back here. And that's the strength. Okay. That works. And the struggle is just a faint. You know, know this is the kind of the card that you want to just sit and study and you think about all these parts. Um, Francis, yeah, we know she's been going through chemo and that's been going off her feet. So, oh, yes, prayers for you. I just love that we are a community that helps and supports each other. We send cards to each other. If you haven't joined the Backboard Stampers, come on over and do that. It's just a free group for doing that. And tonight's just a nice time to be thinking about that when we're using a stamp set like that. You know, we all know people that are struggling in life with something. And the fact that we just went through card, World Card Making Day and a lot of us have cards to send, you know, we were going to call this like sending a card time. You know, who do you know that you can send a card to? And then we love hearing the story. Color scheme is changing. Oh, it is. And now look, we're going to go to a whole different. And here we have just the inside. And I thought this is just gorgeous too. Look how simple this card is. They have just the inside. There are the yep. words and the little heart there and the accent. Yep. And then we have, you know, gorgeous card. And then here for you on the inside, this is Denise Quayle. And I think that is very, just stunning. Very nice. I just, you know, I have a few cards tonight, but they're all just stunning. And this just makes me want to just start sitting and playing with this because I have one more left. So I didn't even have to pick one up because there are so many Describe that. things right here. This is the time-worn 
um, embossing folder, so it's very subtle. But you see, it looks yep. kind of, just kind of antiquey. A lot of embossing folders would work, but it kind of gives it that little extra touch. But again, the just none of these are difficult cards. I mean, I just think that is just really a beautiful card. Color blend guy, what what is the color of that? Is it just black and? Is this black and white? Okay. Ribbon, gingham ribbon, you know, the old, like, I love the black and white gingham ribbon. And this is Pool Party, which is just kind of a greenish, bluish, you know, just a really pretty, pretty color. I think that is absolutely stunning it and is. as simple as can be. And then I just have one more, and this is gorgeous too. This is Brenda Springer. Hmm. And I haven't even used, this is the, the what are they, the mica flakes or whatever we have. I don't know what we call them in the Stampin' Up! catalog. They have them, but that you can put pretty. on. Is that just gorgeous? Um, I'll have to show how to use them if people are interested, but I thought here we have the same heart, but now we wow. have it in gold and we have the same words and now they're put on a circle through struggle comes strength. I just love the accents. I mean, look at these and totally different blues, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I think every single one of these cards is totally just different stunning blues because this one's green. Yeah. So isn't that fun? So I'm just going to leave you tonight with these few, few different cards. This one isn't. It's blue green. No, no, no. But this is. That's pure green. And this background paper is part of the beauty of the earth. You know, it's one of the blues on the flip side. And I just think it's a beautiful background because it has all those shades in it. Very you know, nice. kind of looks watercolor. So I'm just going to put these out. This is the fewest cards I've ever shown. But this is the first time we tried to get out of here to go to a game, too. But we didn't want to give up our night with you either. But. It was worth it. Don't you guys think it was worth it to see these five cards? I mean, my goodness. And I'm just going to say one other thing. When I placed my pre-order, I, I think this is just kind of funny. Because the stamp set was the very first page of the catalog, I didn't even see it. And I didn't even order it. <laughs> I pre-ordered it. And then I got some card swap cards. And I'm going, what is the stamp set? Where is it? <laughs> so I can't believe I missed things. But just in case I can believe any it. of you have missed this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We will see you on Thursday at 1. And tomorrow will be the 12th of the 12 weeks of Christmas coming out at 10 in the morning. That one will drop. And there's some fun, fun ideas with that too. Thanks you guys so much. We appreciate you and good night. Bye.